Vispanchico, Ustespa, Omine One. Saludos y respetos to each and every single one of you guys. Familia, friends, thank you for stopping by and checking out my YouTube. You already know I'm Maniac the YouTuber and also for the civil rights movement of our people and for all peoples. Check this out. I was contacted by my boy Danny Villasenor, aka DV4 Honey. And he's all about <clears throat> he's all about following the laws, the latest, the newest. He knows everything, bro. He's always researching ways to uh to educate our people, you know? And uh I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know nothing about this law because I haven't been refining my skill. But <clears throat> he shot me this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share it with you guys and for the most part this is to educate everyone in California. So I'm just going to read it to you. And then later on, if I feel like adding anything to it, I will do it as well. You know, but this is very, very important information that you should know, bro. <clears throat> okay, this is facts. You could Google it. It's called SB 1421, the Right to Know Act. Once again, SB... 1421, the right to know act. Okay, I'm going to start reading. In 2018, the California legislature passed SB 1421, the right to know act, which gives the public the right to see certain records relating to police misconduct and serious uses of force. You can now request these records under the Public Records Act, PRA, a law that gives the public the right to see the non-confidential documents of our state and local government agencies. The ACLU of Southern California, along with other organizations, is in the process of requesting and publishing the records for all incidents that have now been made public from the 400 plus law enforcement agencies within California. In the meantime, if you have a specific incident or, or officer that you would that you would more information on, you can file your own public record act request. Okay, it's a question. What type of records can I now get access to? Pay attention. SB 1421 gives the public the right to access three categories of records related to investigation and discipline of peace officers number one records related to any incident where a law enforcement officer fired a gun at a person regardless of whether someone was hit or used force that resulted in serious injury or death you can get these records whether the department found the officer acted properly or not number two Records related to incidents where the agency found that an officer committed sexual assault against members of the public, which, in, which includes attempts to coerce sex or prostitution sex while on, on duty. Number three, records related to incidents where the agency found that an officer engaged in dishonesty in the investigation, re reporting, or prosecution of crime or police misconduct. This kind of dishonesty could include filing a false report. Cops do that all the time. Cops do that all the time, bro. Testifying untruthfully? Come on. Everybody knows they lie on the stand. Or planning evidence. Come on. Everybody knows the cops are planning evidence, bro. So you guys got to keep up with this. You are entitled to any document still in, in agency's possession, no matter how old they are. What type of records do I still not have access to? The only records of police misconduct that you can, you can have access are those that fall under the three categories listed above. Serious uses of force, sexual assault, and dishonesty related to investigations. Records of any types of police misconduct are still secret. Also, while you can access the records of investigation for serious uses for force, regardless of whether the agency found that the use of force was wrong, for allegations of sexual assault and job-related dishonesty, you can only access those records 
if the agency determined that the officer was guilty of misconduct in violation of policy and the time to appeal that determination has passed. In addition, the agency has the right to redact or withhold certain confidential information like the names of witnesses or the home addresses of the officers involved. What type of documents will the agency produce? And then it keeps on going to how do I submit a request for information? That's a good one, so I'm going to read it. How do I submit a request for information? To submit a request, send the request via mail, fax, or email to the agency. Some agencies list specific departments or people who, whose job it is to respond to PRA requests. So check their websites or call them for further info. Always keep a copy of your request so that you can so that you can show what you submitted and when. And it just keeps on going, right? Does it cost money to, to make a request? No. They can only charge you for what they paid to make the copies and all that. And then it keeps on going on the same thing. When should I expect a response? The law requires that an agency responds to any public record act request in 10 days, acknowledging the request, giving a timeline for a full response, and informing the requester if they are claiming any ex ex exemptions. An agency can also can ask for a 14-day extension to respond to the request. The more extensive the request, or if it may require a lot of Redactions to keep certain information confidential. The longer it may take to respond. While agencies are supposed to respond promptly, many agencies often take a long time. If you haven't heard from them, follow up reminding them that you are still awaiting a response and document every contact with the agency. And then it goes on. What do I do if the law information does not respond? Well, if they don't respond, you keep on pressing and pressing. And finally, it says you may be able to find a lawyer to represent you. You should first follow up with the agency in writing to continue requests for the document. If they still do not respond, you can enforce your right to the information by bringing a lawsuit in the Superior Court. If you win, your challenge the agency can be required to pay your attorney fees. That means you could get a lawyer on contingency who will get paid only if you collect the fees from the from your lawsuit. So anyway, look, bro. Check this out, homie. I'm going to let you guys know straight up, right? It's kind of hot. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of hot. But look, check it out. Ventura County. Sheriff's Department's office is one of the only agencies. There's a few throughout California, but most of them complied. Well, Ventura County Sheriff's office is the only one that doesn't want to release the reports. They do not want to release the reports. Why? Well, they say it's retroactive. They say it's retroactive. And they went to court. They had a, a judge sign a, a waiver or a blockage. And uh, pretty much the lawyers are fighting them right now because they don't want to release anything before the law was passed, which was last year. I think it was, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was January 2019. So before that, they don't want to release nothing. From there to now, they're releasing everything. Or let me let me let me check that shit real quick, bro. Anyways, it's not important, bro. What is important is that they don't want to release the reports, and due to that, I feel like there's wrongdoing, and we're gonna find out a lot of stuff that they were doing. And I just want to urge my people to stay woke, wake up, and. Implement your right, homie. Implement your right because you have the right to know 
With that being said, this is it for this time. You guys have a good one. Thank you for subscribing. Go ahead and like. And you already know, your YouTuber, the activist, is right here.